Hi, I'm Melissa Hodges, a product manager for Carolina Biological Supply. Hydra is a cnidarian, a phylum of animals that include jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. They are characterized by radial symmetry and stinging capsules called nematocysts. They have two tissue layers, an outer epidermis and an inner gastrodermis. Most are marine, but hydras are found in freshwater. This makes them readily available and easy to study. Remove your culture from the box, uncap the jar, and aerate with a pipette. Inspect the culture with a dissecting scope or hand lens. The hydras may be contracted from being jostled. They are small, thin, and not easy to see. Most will be attached to the sides or bottom of the jar. Some may attach to the surface tension of the water. For temporary storage, replace the lid, but do not tighten. Although simple animals, hydras exhibit some interesting responses. To demonstrate the feeding response, hold hydra without food for at least two days after receipt of the culture. I'm transferring a hydra to a Carolina deep well slide. You could also use a concave slide. Add one or more Daphnia pulex as food to be captured. Don't use Daphnia magna as they are too large. I'm suctioning off some of the water to restrict the area of movement. The action is best observed under a dissection scope at 20x or you can use a compound scope with a 40x scanning lens or even a hand lens. Watch for capture. The tentacles draw the Daphnia to the mouth which stretches to engulf the prey. Students can design their own experiments to test Hydra's response to stimuli, such as pH, light, or salt concentrations. For more information on care and handling of Hydra or other living materials from Carolina Biological, please visit www.carolina.com.